What's up guys, Ben Azadi here, best-selling author, functional diagnostic nutrition practitioner. Intermittent fasting, such a popular topic, and I wanna give you some tips on what to do before you begin an intermittent fasting schedule. Now, intermittent fasting is something that's been popular in the media, which is surprising, but hey, people are talking about it. It's one of the most searched terms on the internet. And it's, I want you to understand that fasting is not a health fad. Fasting is a health fact. Fasting is not sexy. Companies don't promote it because there's no money to be made from it. There's actually billions of dollars to be lost from fasting. And it's a powerful tool. The same way a chainsaw is a powerful tool that could get the job done, chainsaw is also a powerful tool that could hurt you. Fasting is the same way. So this video is to explain the steps that I would like for you to take before you begin a fasting protocol. So walk with me on this journey over here. When you fast, you're gonna teach your body to keep insulin low. You're gonna teach your body to burn your body fat stores, which is exactly what we want. This is going back to our ancestral roots. Now, if you just begin a fasting protocol without putting in the work, you're gonna feel miserable. You're gonna feel like you are destroyed and you can't think and you can't focus. Now, here's the deal. You wouldn't hop off your couch and go and run a marathon, right? You would put in some work to train for it. Fasting is like developing a muscle. We need to put in the work before we could actually train. Now, here are some steps to follow before you begin fasting. Number one, swap out a lot of the carbohydrates in your diet for healthy fats. Because when you eat carbohydrates, you're gonna spike insulin, you're gonna spike glucose. You've taught your body to be a sugar burner. Now, what we're doing with fasting is converting from being a sugar burner to a fat burner. And when you do that, you're gonna feel so much better, but there's a process that has to take place. When you eat more fats, and less carbohydrates, you teach your body to keep insulin low and tap into your body fat for fuel. So that's step number one, eat more healthy fats, eat less carbohydrates. Step number two is to stop the snacking. Have breakfast, lunch, and dinner, nothing in between. When you do that, you're gonna go a period of time where you keep insulin at baseline. After you do this for 14 to 21 days, then you could test to see if you're fat adapted. And here's the test, it's very easy. Skip a meal and see how you feel. If you skip lunch and you feel miserable, you're hangry, or you're gonna rip somebody's face off, you are not fat adapted yet, there's still some work you need to put in. So you fail the test, what do you do next? You continue this protocol with cutting out the snacks, eating less carbs, eating more healthy fats, and then we retest. Give it another two or three days, and then you retest, skip lunch again or dinner, and if you feel actually you have, like you have more energy, you feel good, you have more focus, and you have more creativity, hey, congratulations, you're fat adapted, then you could begin a fasting protocol. And I wanna teach you the three different types of fasting. Go to fastingcheatsheet.com right now, get my book for free. You'll learn the top three ways to practice fasting. Put in the work first. Let's get you fat adapted. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Have a healthy day.